Good morning. Welcome back. Uh, my name is Matt Williamson. You're watching Marriott and College Esports. Uh, we are going to be having our Overwatch match with Muskingum University in just a few minutes. Uh, so let me go over the starting lineup because we're going to be starting any minute now. And that is the overlay. It is not the starting lineup. I apologize for that. Let's fit the right button here, Matt. There we go. This is much better. Uh, so our tanks are Neptune, Morgan White, Shadow Dragon, Caleb Bradley. DPS would be uh, Shaken Dwarf, Jaden Piper, Shadow Angel, Natalia, Bacciata Sitcha. Apologize, Natalia. I'm never going to get your last name right. I'm so sorry. Uh, DPS, we have Caps Lock, Vincent Anderson, and Chucks, Yusuf Altanak. And then for support, we have Brimstone, Ian Darling, and Granny Sinade, Manning Shaw. I think there'll be a couple of uh, swaps for some of the uh, players. So like right now, uh, Neptune is not able to be with us. So I think we'll be swapping to a different tank. Uh, the other thing that I will mention is that uh, my client on my machine is uh, acting up a little bit in that uh, for some reason it does not update properly. So we are gonna be watching this game through Discord Live. So I do apologize that the um, the video quality isn't going to be as great and there will not be any audio, uh, unfortunately. I mean, I could, I don't think the audio will work at all. Plus, you'd be hearing all the players and, well, with a bunch of uh, gamers, we probably don't want to hear the comms. So we're not going to get any audio. Uh, this is a best of three with uh, against Muskingum. And it looks, and since Muskingum was the home team, they got to select the first map, and it looks like they are going to go with Ilios. Uh, as far as the setup here, it looks like we're going to go with a Sigma uh, Diva tank composition. Very interesting. So you have a little bit of a dive and a little bit of a shield. And then I can't hit the tab button because I can't see who else we have there. And the skins are throwing me out. Looks like we got a. Uh, a Widowmaker for DPS. We got Baptiste here for support. And then we got Moira for support. And I can't tell who the last one is. I think it might have been a Reaper. I can't see for sure. Uh, this is through Granny Sinati's uh, perspective. And I might try to play around a little bit with the settings in a bit so I can swap to different people. Actually, I'm almost a little concerned if I try to do that. Let's see what happens if I exit full screen. Oh, now you see the entire Discord. Uh, I'm going to go back to full screen here just so we can at least see uh, the full map. So this entire game is going to be through uh, Granny Tsunami's perspective. Uh, so we see Mary is going to go over to the right side. And one for this game has already gone down. So they are trying to contest that control point and it is unlocked. So Mary will be jumping in to try to capture the, the control point. And they do secure the point, although what Brinston has gone down for Marietta. So that's a 5v5 right now. So they are kind of falling back just a little bit. Shadow Angel goes down for Marietta. Trap Daddy is uh, getting quite a few kills onto Marietta. Looks like the immunity charge is going down. And, looks, and Muskingum is starting to secure the point, and they do capture it uh, by taking down several from Marietta. Uh, the Baptiste alt does come out to try to get some extra damage or heals, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that effective. But yeah, so we're just going to wait for uh, Baptiste to respawn. So Merida will try to get back in there. So uh, right now it's about 19 to 25%. This game does have control of the point, so uh, Merida is going to try to see if they can get a push in to recapture the point. So they're going to go back over to the right side. And see if they're going to try to break through Reinhardt's shield. And we see that one from Muskinga was trying to get in there. Uh, Banks was trying to uh, infiltrate, but he does end up going down. So that may give Marietta the push that they need. See so Sigma taking some damage, but Marietta is starting to go in to contest the point. But one for Marietta has already gone down. Reinhardt's going to do his charge. And the Moira all comes out. And Reinhardt actually gets two for Marietta down. So most of Marietta will go down. Once again, if anyone's wondering why there's no audio and the video quality isn't that great, uh, 
my client will not let me get into Overwatch for some reason, so we are looking at this through uh, Discord Live. I am going to try to adjust this uh, in between games just to see if we can get the, uh, so I can swap among different people. Uh, so right now the control point is at 83%, so Merit is going to have to make a push. Uh, looks like a couple, uh, to, uh, Granny switched to a Brigade to see if we can get some stuns going, but now it's at 90%. You see the uh, the Reinhardt chunk comes out. So Mary is trying to get some damage on uh, Reaper goes dealt goes down for Muskinga, but uh, Reaper for Mary also goes down. So it's one for one trade. So now Mary is trying to make their push because it is at ninety nine percent and it is in overtime. So Mary has to clear them out if they want to uh, take this first round. But right now they are kind of falling one by one, and it's looking like the first round of this game is going to go to Muskingum, unfortunately. All right, so while we're getting the, the next game set up here, I'm gonna to try to see if I can get the uh, settings here for Discord set up. So hang tight here, just, just a second, everyone. So I appreciate everyone's patience as I'm trying to see if I can get the map or at least the, uh, the view here well enough to Here, and if I do, okay, that's still too much. So if I do, okay, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna just do a quick little transition here. All right, there we go. So now I should be able to switch among different people. Let's let's test this out here. So if I switch to this. All right, so it's going to take a second to swap back and forth, but you should now at least see a full view of the game. All right, so we see we're already in the uh, second round of Ilios. Uh, we see the May coming here. May is a very strong champion right now. And Marietta is capturing the, the point, so they were able to uh, secure it. Now the question is, can they hang on to this point? Ilios is one of Muskingum's stronger maps. So it's just a matter of can they hold off Muskingum. If you think they can, then um, get that hype in the chat. All right, so we see the Reinhardt coming through. Muskingum, so Mary is going to try to infiltrate in the back lines or at least hold off the shield. The Reinhardt shield has been broken, but we do see two from Mary to have fallen. So one support, one DPS. Although Trap Daddy from Muskinga has gone down, one of their stronger DPS. So it is a two for one, but now Shadow Angel from Mario has gone down. So Muskinga is starting to take down everyone from Mario one by one. And this may give Muskinga a chance to recap, to, I shouldn't say recapture, but to actually take the point. All right, so uh, Muskingum does have the point, but Marietta was able to get almost almost fifty percent of the uh, the point right away. So, uh, really good job there. So, if they can get another push and then hold for a little bit, they could take this round. So let's take a look from another perspective. All right, so let's see what's going on here from Diva. So we see Diva charging in, but the, the mech does go down. So now we have Baby Diva out, and it's going to fall pretty quickly. So we'll, we'll switch over. Okay, that's not the right one. All right, we'll switch over to Granny Sinani. So we see Brimstone has gone down as well, but uh, Muskingum is starting to get uh, starting to catch up in the progress of the control point, and they are struggling with actually getting back to contesting the control point. Problem is, Muskingum is able to take out at least one person from Marietta, and that makes it very difficult to get that push if they are down by one person because. Well, numbers advantage. All right, so we now see the Muskingum is at 75%. Uh, so Marietta may be only to do one more push. And we see the Baptiste coming out.
Yeah, so now Muskingum's at about 90%. So Merida has to make their push now to uh, clear the control point and recapture it. It's now at 95%. Coalescence comes out. Reinhardt tries to charge in. Uh, Diva Bomb actually takes out two from Muskingum. So this is Merida's chance. It is an overtime, but they need to go connect the point right now. And Reinhardt is just disrupting Baptiste. And we're getting one-for-one one trades. Reinhardt does go down, but so does uh, Soldier 76. And Marietta does recapture the point. So they're at 60%, but they have to hold this for the rest of the round. If Muskingum recaptured the point, they will take game one. I think we saw a Widowmaker snipe there, or... Yeah, so it looks like they're trying to pin down Granny Sonata here. We see uh, Muskingum popping their ult, so Reinhardt uh, charges in, Coalescence comes out. Trap Daddy from Muskingum does go down, so it is going to give Marietta a numbers advantage. Uh, the immunity shield for Marietta does go down, Banks goes down, Shadow Angel goes down, so it's trading left and right here, Devourer goes down, Chicken Dwarf goes down. So it's pretty even right now so far. But Marietta still holds the control point, and it's at 98%. So if they can keep... It's in overtime, so they're going to have to make sure it's a one-for-one. One, and some from the game have already charged in. If Marietta can clear this, they will take this round. But right now, there's two from us game. They're trying to recapture the point, but no one from Marietta is there. And Marietta has to try to go in there and contest, but it, the overtime is clocking down. Yeah. And unfortunately, Muskingum was able to get there at the last minute, clean up... And game one will go to uh, Muskingum. Oh, that that was clutch. Uh, that was uh, very clutch. I hate to see that happen. So close. But, okay. So game one does go to uh, Muskingum. So we're going to get the lobby set up. Uh, Merida will be able to choose the next map. So once I know what that is, we will get that to you. Uh, once again, as a uh, just a reminder here. So if everyone's wondering, like, why is the video quality not so good? Why do we not have any game audio? Uh, there is a uh, an issue with my client on the our streaming machine where it won't let me apply the latest update. I'm probably going to have to re uh, like restart the computer, but I'm not going to do that midstream. So I'm on Discord, and we have a couple of people doing Discord live. So that's how we're able to see it from a couple of people's uh, perspective. So I appreciate everyone's uh, understanding with that. Some technical difficulties happen all the time, especially with my luck. I mean, I'm the computer science professor, and I have the technical difficulties. Of course, that's going to be the, the case. But OK, uh, so it looks like. Yeah, so everyone's in the lobby. Uh, Neptune will be coming in. So now we'll just see uh, what map uh, Merida wants to choose uh, for this. While we're waiting, I'll go ahead and throw in some shameless plugs here, things that's going on. Uh, so just as a reminder that at 4 o'clock this afternoon, our League of Legends team will be going up against uh, Missouri Baptist University. Now it's come to my attention, there may be some potential personnel issues. So there is a possibility that the match will not happen, but we're gonna try anyway. So we're gonna be here. Um, and if it doesn't happen, well, we'll let you know. Uh, looks like everyone's saying they're ready. It looks like Hanamura is gonna be the next map. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring up the uh, overlay now since it should be starting right about now, but it will be Hanamura. And Marietta will be attacking first. So we'll get a chance to see what they're going to be uh, going with. So it looks like for a second there, I thought we were going to see a Granny Sonata McCree. I thought we were going to see that. That would have been interesting. Uh, but OK. So it looks like we're getting the Anamora for uh, support. We're going to get Reinhardt and Sigma for tanking, Reaper and Samba for DPS. Okay. So yeah, Mary will be attacking first. And as you know, with Hanamura, the first checkpoint isn't too difficult, but that second checkpoint is always the, the really hard one to the capture. So we'll see if Mary that can do this.
All right, so they should be starting up uh, any time now. So, yeah, so prepare this. I got 18 seconds before the round begins. Four, four, three, two, one. Attacked objective A. I can't do it like the voice in the game. All right, so we see Merida going in. So I had to get through this first checkpoint, or choke point, I should say, before getting to the first checkpoint. It looks like uh, Anna's going to be kind of going up to the top side, of, but falls down anyway. So we see Miss King is right there at the choke point. Uh, no one has fallen yet. I just, as soon as I said that Brimstone for Merida goes down, Caster's Curse, right? Uh, so Mary is going to have to fall back a little bit. But Skingu is definitely getting some good poke onto uh, Marietta. And we see uh, Granny Sinade doing his best to try to keep everyone up and keep himself covered so he doesn't get poked down. So it looks like Muskingum is going to go is going with a Reinhardt Zarya uh, tank combo, which is a pretty good. But they are starting to push forward. They didn't take anyone from Muskingum down yet, but they are able to move in. They must have taken down the Reinhardt shield, so that gives them a chance to push. But now they're kind of falling a little bit behind. Uh, the Ana Alts is in place, uh, and we see the Junkrat all come out and actually takes down two for Marietta. So they're going to have to fall back and then group back up. All right, so Mary is just kind of grouping back up at their uh, spawn point, but they should be progressing forward anytime soon. Okay, so we start seeing everyone moving forward over to the left side this time. And they are getting poked down pretty early on. I mean, you see Junkrat and Moira up in that top uh, ledge. So they get the shield out to try to protect her, or to at least block her a little bit. But Marriott is struggling with this checkpoint. Uh, they should have several alts ready. Trying to see if there's a, another perspective to swap to. But actually, this one's a pretty good one. So now Marietta will rotate around to see if they can get in through a, a different approach. They got about a minute 35 on the timer, but they still haven't been able to get through uh, that front door. Yeah, and Shaken Dwarf has gone down for Marietta, so they are down 5v6. And we see Brimstone going down for Marietta, so they're going to have to fall back again. Moira pops her ult from Muskingum, and that will definitely force Marietta to fall back. And we even see Grants and I have to fall back. He was getting poked down a little bit too. So Marietta has less than a minute before uh, they need to at least capture the first checkpoint if they want to continue in this game. And and we see the uh, junk right now coming out, and it does take out Reinhardt. So Mary is making their big push because they only have about 35 seconds left. So it is do or die for this round. And the Zarya outcomes. Oh, you hate to see that. The Zarya Reinhardt combo with the Gravitron and then the Reinhardt charge. And that may take that may be the end of this round for Marietta with only 20 seconds left and most of Marietta down and now just starting to respawn. So they have 10 seconds left and they have to have someone get onto the control point, but Muskingum is not even letting it get through that door. It is an overtime, so someone has been able to get to the checkpoint, but are they going to be able to last long enough? But more from Marietta are falling. And we do see the overtime clock just kind of going down. And that will be the round. So unfortunately, Marietta was not able to secure the first checkpoint. And what that means is if Marietta is able to, not Marietta, but Muskingum, I think if they make one third of a progress, then that will be enough to end the, the round and end the, the game. 
So Mary Davis got to put up uh, quite the defense if they want to get to at least round three uh, in this game. So we'll see how Mary is going to take care of this. Like we're going to see the Bastion, which is a pretty solid hero for defense as long as they keep him protected. So I mean, if they have like Reinhardt in front and keeping shields in front of him, then that might be a good approach. All right, so Meredith will get into position. We'll see how they handle that choke point that Muskingum was able to hold for the entire round. It looks like, let's say, is Meredith going to concede the, the choke point? I think they're starting to head around. All right, so the round has begun, so now we'll see how Marida is going to handle this. And I think we see a Junkrat as well. And we see Diva's already in. And Miskingum's already on the, the, the contested point, on the checkpoint. So Marida will go in to try to take out everyone. And they got the, uh, the immunity disc onto... Uh, Bast uh, yeah, onto Bastion to keep him up, although I think that was uh, taken down. But yeah, so it looks like Muskingum only has to get one-third of the checkpoint to secure the match, so Meredith has to put up quite the defense. So they're kind of staying at the checkpoint because they don't want to... They they don't want to go to the checkpoint, because uh, the, the choke point, because if uh, Muskingum kind of gets around them and gets one-third, then that's it for the match. So that's why Meredith is kind of letting them get through the choke point. But we do see uh, kills going left to right too for Muskingum went down, but Junkrat for Marietta has also gone down. The immunity shield's going down, and uh, so we're going down left and right, but Marietta is still holding that checkpoint. I think a lot of this is going to be a matter of keeping uh, Reinhardt up, keeping Bastion up as well. And we saw there that Baptiste went down by Genji. So now they're using Genji to try to go in and infiltrate. So that's going to be, uh, although Reinhardt is able to take out the Genji. Yeah, and the big issue here is when Mary, if anyone from Mary goes down, they start all the way back at their spawn point, so they have to run all the way back. So if there's like a team wipe, or even just enough of Mary to go down, that is going to be GG. Let's see if we can switch to another... Uh, swap to another perspective here. We'll just look at it from the... Yeah, Bastion perspective and Bastion goes down quickly uh, this could be bad news for Marietta oh yeah so we see uh, several from Marietta are going down actually most of Marietta go down and Muskingum is starting to take the, uh, the control point and that's going to be it so they only needed one third of the uh, of securing the checkpoint Yeah, and unfortunately with that, uh, Marietta will fall to Muskingum 0-2 in Overwatch. Um, all right, so kind of gave a couple announcements earlier. Uh, so just a few reminders of things that's going on. So we do have our League of Legends match uh, 4 o'clock today. Now, that may or may not happen. We'll see. But uh, we'll have the stream up and we'll let you know what's going on there. Uh, also, just a reminder of other things that are going on. We have... Um, our annual day of giving next Friday. This is our campus-wide uh, reach out to see people will help with uh, giving to support the, the college for a variety of programs, whether it's academics or athletics or extracurricular. So uh, if you want to uh, give during that, you can go to meridia.edu slash give. 
You can even designate your gift. So if you want to uh, make a gift to support the the uh, Married College Esports program, you can actually designate it to help us. And your support has helped us with a variety of things. We have been able to have our make improvements to our facility. We're working on uh, adding more teams. We've been in discussion on uh, adding more staff. So your support definitely does help us with that. Uh, we are also uh, partnering with the organization uh, Versus Cancer for doing uh, pediatric brain tumor research. So we've been campaigning for a few weeks now. We still have a few more weeks in their campaign. But if you want to help with supporting that cause, you can go to bit.ly slash MC versus cancer. We have already raised over $300 for that. And so if you would like to help with that, you can definitely donate. Uh, half the proceeds will go to cancer research and the other half will go to Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. So if you want to help us with that, we would uh, greatly appreciate it. But all right, that's going to be uh, everything for now. Uh, we'll be back at four o'clock. Uh, for all the latest updates, please be sure to follow us on social media. So you can go to, on Twitter at Marietta Esports. Uh, Facebook, you can go to facebook.com slash Marietta College Esports. And you can follow us on YouTube uh, or even our Twitch channel. So you can go to bit.ly slash Marietta College Esports. So uh, once again, thank you so much for uh, spending a part of your morning with us. Uh, we hope to see you later on this afternoon.